Who knew that grains of rice hold the key, hold the secret to marriage? Like, who freaking knew? Who knew? Here's the thing. I want to show you how a grain of rice can actually show you the flaws, can show you the good things, can show you everything about your marriage, and show you what it's tracking, how it's tracking, what's actually going on. So just stick with me. Let me. Sh I'm going to show you a little experiment, right? So here's the thing. Words matter. The power of our words matter. And so much so in our relationship because, we, you know, here's the thing. What you feed into a relationship is what you're going to get out. And a lot of people are like, yeah, 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 but I'm nice, I'm nice, or whatever. But when you have conversations to your friends, you're like, oh, men are so useless. My partner's so useless. Can't do this, can't do that. And you always just belittling them or you saying little negative snide comments. And I want to show you the impact that that has, right? I've got two containers of rice. One says love. And the other says hate. So what happens when you plant those seeds, when you say those words in your relationship, they have an impact, an impact that you may not physically see, but they always have an impact. And here's the thing, what happens when you start talking hate? What happens when you start speaking negative things in your marriage? What happens to that grain of rice? Let me show you what happens to that grain of rice. It starts turning nasty. It starts turning disgusting. And that's what happens in your relationship. It looks all well and good. It looks all well and good and fine, right? But when you actually look at it, when you closely examine it, you start seeing, you start seeing the disgusting side. You start seeing the nasty comments. You start seeing how this festers and how this will start tainting the whole thing. And the same thing happens when you speak love into your marriage. When you speak love, joy, blessings and you just praise the person you start having rice that's just pearly white like there ain't no blemish in there it is just thriving this rice is more than a week old it shouldn't be thriving yet it's thriving because why life has been spoken to it joy has been spoken to it blessings has been spoken to it but here's the thing the minute you start like talking nasty things over your your marriage Bad, like bad things happen, things start festering. There's this communication breakdown. There's errors in the communication, and life just seems difficult. You've got to look at what it is that you're planting into your marriage. Look at the seeds that you are sowing, and I encourage you right now. Let this rice be an example to you of how important your words are. How important your words are in marriage, right? This grain of rice is just a small sampling. So when you speak love into your marriage you will start seeing things blossom. So look at the words that you're saying. Look at what you're bringing in and spend more time spending love, spending positive things, spending joy over your marriage and over your spouse, okay?